Hey guys. Hey. All right, thank you so much for my channel as always. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I want to talk to you guys. I have Radiance here. If you don't know Radiance, she has been in a few of my videos. And she's going to be starting a YouTube channel herself. So yes. when she started, please subscribe and support as always. And we're going to be just talking about, hey, this is and Caspian. That's my son, Caspian. Uh, yeah. Of course, you guys know Ava. And we're just talking about, okay, Ava. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, really, we just sitting here talking about, like, how it is for aspects who's thinking about moving here. And I really feel like we were just talking about like the main thing you have to do is you have to come and visit this country because you can't base it on somebody else's videos like at all. Because my experience is different from your experience. Like it's exactly. different from her experience. Like Exactly. And what I might like and need may be completely different from what she needs. So that's been my experience here. Like things I thought I would like here, I don't like at all. And things I didn't expect to like, I love. So Yeah. So that's what I we we're really gonna talk about briefly because I really just we just talk about it. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna record it so people can hear her perspective because you guys so far only hearing my perspective. But I recommend if you think about coming, it's like yes, it's good to watch people videos, but you really have to come to the country. That's the best experience, really. Like you can't get the most experience, the hands-on experience. You gotta come really come to the country because yeah. I have people who came here to Las Vegas who thought Las Vegas was gonna be the place for them, and then they end up in Sasu or Copper Day, and they're like, "No, what? We're gonna move on. We're not gonna go to Las Vegas." And vice versa. You started from. I started in Punta Cana, and then we went to Cabrera, and I thought I would stay in Cabrera, but I did not like it at all. And then we went to Santo Domingo, and I loved it, and I was not expecting that because people had told me, oh, don't go there, it's not safe, you know, be careful, but I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you can really do all the research in the world, but like once, you, you really have to be here to know what works best for you. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, that's why I feel like you have to really have to come here because it's like, even when it comes to Santo Domingo, a lot of people don't like the city. I like the city right, part. I love the city. <laughs> like me and her, we like Santo Domingo right, I'm from because Chicago, so I love the city. Yeah. And yeah. the reason is because like Santo Domingo is is faster paced, and you have all the amenities, like everything you need, yeah. like everything back home you have in Santo Domingo. <laughs> right. you, you literally can get anything you want or need in that city. Like, is I got spoiled. I really did. Like I had Uber Eats, Uber everything. Like I was in a, I stayed in a high rise apartment for uh, like a month. It was nice. The only, like the only thing that's different is the language. Yeah. Everything you could get. You want to go to the aquarium, the zoo. You want to go to the movies, the, the mall, music like parks, everything. Yeah. The mall, everything you need in the city that you would get back home in the states or whatever country you in, mm -hmm. you gonna find it at the that meal. You probably can find it also in, um, in Santiago. But only thing different is the language they speak. Um, so I really recommend that you have to come and visit these places because you can't base it solely on my videos or anybody else's videos. You really have to come and visit. Or anyone else's opinion because there are people who even don't make videos. Like yeah. it's their personal opinions of what they think a place might be and they haven't really experienced a place. And then you go and experience it and it's like, wow, this is not what people told me it would be like. Yeah. So. so what you think so far, like what you, somebody told you and then you feel like it wasn't like that? I People told me not to go to Santo Domingo because it was unsafe. I did not feel that way when I was there. Like, I, I felt safe. Like, the building we were in was secure. Like, I took Uber everywhere. And, you know, this was like with any big city, don't go to the shady parts. Yeah. And I didn't go to the shady parts, so we were cool. Yeah. Like, I, I had a blast. Yeah, <laughs> people tell me that too, though. Like, I, I know when I first was talking about going to um, Santo Domingo, people were like, don't have your phone now. They're going to snatch your phone. Yeah. Or don't, like, you know, all this stuff. All, a lot of stuff about San Domingo. But I didn't have that experience. Like, when we even when we went up there, you know, of course, you saw, like, I was recording the whole time I had experience. But that's like, we not going in the hood. Right. <laughs> that's right. what we got to stay. Right. And then people have told me they went there, they didn't like it. I'm like, which part did you go to? Because, like, it, it's a great city. It is. Yeah, that's like that's the thing. It's like we not we not like how you back home. You're not going in the hood of your exactly. town, whether you in Chicago, LA, Atlanta. You're not going to like the hood of that place. Like you're not in the traps and nothing like right, crazy right. like that. You're going to like the next areas downtown. That's how it is down here in Santa Domingo. We going to the next area. You going downtown. We going to like the family neighborhood. So you really have to base it on your own experience because I don't know where these people be at, but we we don't be there. Right. <laughs> other people's opinions and 
their fear is they will project them onto you and they'll have you scared like because like the first time i went there i was scared because of what people had told me and then i once i stayed for a little while i was like okay there's nothing crazy going on here i like it here yeah so so yeah that's what this video is about i want you guys to just take your own personal opinion of course you want to get the ideas and like opinions for other people but really just take it with a grain of salt and you just basically have to come with you have to visit the country that's really it yeah. i know a lot of people who like who hit me up thinking about like come in or what area is the best i really can't tell you guys what area is the best because a good area to me might not be a good area to you right, right. like it's all your personal preference yeah only thing I can really tell you is like the the popular places that a lot of experts go to. That's really a thing I can tell you like popular towns experts go to. But I can't really tell you like which one is better. Again, I haven't went to all those towns, but mm -hmm. everybody experience is different. Some people go because like I know a lot of people go to like the Sua, Cabrete, Puerto Plata area because yes, it's beach town, but they have way more amenities than Las Reinas. So a lot of people go there like they got a. A water park, you know, a lot of many um, amenities so, than La Trina. So some people go there while. Yeah, they have a water park. Yes, well, like. But they <laughs> don't, don't have like water, water park. They like have a pool. Yeah, we got a pool. We don't got a water park. <laughs> <laughs> we just got pools and a beach. We got some beaches. But yeah, like some people like go to places to amenities. And then some people probably go based off like. You know, every different reasons, but you just gotta take that into fact that you can't just base it solely on people's videos. You definitely have yeah. to come and visit. Absolutely. And another thing I recommend, um, like what I do, you know, guys, if you follow my video, you know that I had like booked an apartment before come here. Maybe that might not be the best thing for you guys. Maybe do what um Radiance do. Radiance, she do like Airbnb, and she go from Airbnb to Airbnb, and maybe yeah. that might be the best thing. Like I do Airbnbs and. To get a feel of a place like I, I know when I was in Cabrera I did an Airbnb and then I rented another apartment that wasn't on Airbnb for a month and I wish I hadn't did that because I had so many problems with this apartment with electricity water issues roaches <laughs> it was just a lot going on yeah. and I felt forced to stay there because I knew I wasn't getting my money back because I did it outside of Airbnb and I wish I had done it through Airbnb so at least I can file some sort of complaint or get my money back. But it was a lesson learned. Yeah. So maybe, because I know a lot of times people want to find an apartment and maybe if they, you do find an apartment, maybe only stay for a month, but mm -hmm. maybe Airbnb might be the best thing. So if you don't like the place, you can always just leave. But I wouldn't recommend to stay for like you know how you try to try to book an Airbnb for a whole month? I wouldn't recommend to do that. Stay for Airbnb for a week, and if you want to extend it, then extend it. But this would just give you the freedom to like, you know what? This is not the place for me because you don't want to. Um, I had a, a couple that came and hey, you guys, you know who I'm talking to. Um, uh, so I had a couple who came here and they had stayed for a place for a month, and they didn't really care for their place. But again, they were already stuck, and because they paid for a whole month, so they was already stuck, and they didn't want to lose their money. Um, so maybe you want to probably just stay for like a few days or a week at the most and then if you decide to stay you can stay if you're not at least you got the option to leave and because you don't want to get stuck um, but so that's why I really recommend do Airbnbs if you can this way you don't have to be stuck in a whole month contract and also go um, go to these places yeah definitely. that's really it you got any other advice for them you don't have no advice at all you don't the person who got who who do pay for nothing? What's your advice? I am a kid, and kids do not pay anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ain't y'all jealous of Ava? Like she got the best life ever. She don't pay for nothing. She over here going to all these countries. She don't pay for nothing. Oh, uh, what's your advice <laughs> before we wrap this up? Because this is gonna be the um. So what would you think you learned from this whole process from going from like country to country, like moving from t town to town? Ah, uh, moving from town to town. Um, I guess the biggest thing I've learned is that to not, if I'm not sure about a place, don't book a place outside of Airbnb. Like, like if it doesn't feel right from the beginning, 
don't don't continue. Like I felt like with Cabrera, like it just felt right from the beginning. But I tried to make it work, yeah. but like I kept getting hit with like obstacle after obstacle, and I should have just like let it go. Yeah. But at least with jumping around in different places, at least I know what works for me and what doesn't work for me. So it was definitely a lesson learned for me. Yeah. So I know what I can live with and what I can live without. And for people who don't know, she actually got a son. So how do you you and she does homeschool for her son. Do you recommend for somebody to do homeschooling or? I would say until you find like, I guess some sort of program where you can drop them in. Yeah, homeschooling. Like we did classes on out school and then we have like our own workbook curriculum. But um, I did put him in a school in Cabrera because I needed a break. Um, but it was a little expensive and now he's at a school in Las Terrenas, which seems to be working out better for us because it's like it's week to week and we don't have to pay for a one full session. We can yeah. go week to week. Yeah. But yeah, if you're going to come out here, I would advise you to homeschool first until you uh, until you find a community where you can drop the kid in unless you know, unless you want to continue homeschooling and by all means do that. But if you need yeah. a break, find some place that's okay with dropping sessions. Because yeah. that's been very that's been a lifesaver. Yeah, there's many places that you could do, um, just drop your kids off. And I recommend you guys to, um, do your research. Yes. I can probably provide you some schools here. It's not that many schools that do let you do drop off, but I can provide you some schools here in Las Arenas. Any other area, I can't tell you. I know in, like, the school, Cabaret, they do, they do got, um, Isla also, but I really can't tell you about any other schools in any other towns. But I can provide you some names of schools here, so you could call them up and contact them and see if they do the drop off. But that is an option for people who want to drop, like, go from town to town, just like how um, Radians did, because that is an option. Because you don't want to get feel like you're stuck in a town that you're not 100% sure of. Yeah, this way, Airbnb here. is, like, yeah, the perfect way. Um, you know, for me, Ava, she didn't be in school. That whole online is not really working for her, so we we do um go to school. But I definitely recommend the very... Um, radiant do but airbnb and make sure you also go to town to town and see because i can't really a lot of people i'm repeating myself right now because i want you to know the importance some of you guys was hitting me up saying hey was areas good but i really can't tell you area because my experience is different from your experience like some people don't not like the city at all some people just like beast towns where right so you can't really base your experience on mine i recommend you come and if you don't want to come, you feel like, hey, you come by yourself and you don't want to really experience the, the town by yourself, just let me know. Because, you know, we could always just catch the bus up. I could come up there for the weekend and whatnot, walk around, sightsee with you guys so you don't feel like you're by yourself, feel comfortable, and we go from there. But just let me know if that's something you're interested in, and that's it. I'll talk to y'all later, as always. Please like, comment. Ava! Ava! Tell them, like, comment, subscribe. Ava hey, gonna tell y'all. Cause y'all gonna be like comment and subscribing. Y'all be subscribing, y'all be like it. Like and subscribe and hit that bell. What what Ava say? Do that. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Like, like and subscribe. And, and hit, hit that, that bell. bell.